numbers are well i mean like what do isbn mean i have no idea oh it's whatever books, puzzles yeah, i don't know it's all library stuff what hey guys you... what's up i'm kiwi he's connor how you Hi. doing we've been good it's a bit warm in my room though it's 32 degrees in here and that's with that's with humidity so it's even worse how you been we're gonna do another jigsaw who would have thunk it uh, let's do cloud. Should we do 80 or 180? Mm, something in between. There is no in between. There's 20, sure. 80, 180, and 320. God damn. What? Jeez, that's ridiculous. Uh. Well, this one's a pretty busy picture. You want to do 320 and uh, spend two episodes doing it? Oh. Yes. Um, no, not really. We did I it. Suppose if Oh, well, okay. Welcome to the monorail. Oh, <laughs> so we're doing this. Oh, I got a piece already. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> we're doing the Coca-Cola thing first. It's the, the, the easy They're the part. most easily identifiable pieces. Yeah, they're the red ones. <laughs> My friend Vera would be very proud of me. Prioritizing Coca-Cola. Regardless of the fact that it's a corporation. And I'm oh. not a fan of corporations. I'm part socialist. And for anyone who didn't close the video immediately, uh, ah. let's do a jigsaw together. Totally. I swear, though, so many people demonize socialism. Like, wow, calm down. I'm not all that, you know, savvy on political things, so. Basically, I feel... Basically, regardless of terminology, I feel that the... Oh, I found some code on the bottom here. I, f I, be I believe that the government should do more than privatize systems. Hmm. Okay. That's, that's about all I got. Because privatized systems means competition. Competition for things that you require, such as healthcare or other such things, is bad. Yeah, that's a pretty stupid idea. Especially when there's no more competition and it becomes a monopoly. Oh, well, now you're just screwed for things you require. Yeah, pretty much. Lucky Main you. Someone's got a monopoly. They jacked the prices to ass-raping levels. I know. Don't make rape jokes. Come on. Let's keep it clean. Oh, please. No, I actually well, care. To keep it clean, you wouldn't have done Torchlight 2. I try to keep a leash on you guys. <laughs> Very loose leash. Well, I mean, I wouldn't be strict about stuff. That would wreck the fun. But yeah, I'm I, I'm a fan of the government doing stuff for its people, not to its people, but for it. Yeah. Being helpful. Being helpful is always a good thing. That's my idea of a good government. They should be in charge of stuff, you know. Yep. They run the country, so they should, you know, put in the effort. Shouldn't, they shouldn't just be like, well, I run the country, see you in four years, or five <laughs> years, or whenever they get impeached or whatever. Ooh, I, I don't know Canadian course. politics all that well. Well, I can't remember exactly, you know, how Canadian politics works either, but I'm not sure it's exactly called impeachment. I could be horribly, horribly wrong about that, but... Well, it's when the, min it's it's when the uh, minority government gets something going on and there's a there's a vote of non-confidence or yeah, something. Yeah, I think that's the technical term for it. Words. Yeah, pretty much. Where does this piece go? Don't know. I can hardly figure out where my own damn pieces go. Jeez. Well, figure out where mine goes, too. No! No! But this is a busy picture. I told you. Yep. I knew what I was doing. Uh, which way around is this going? It goes this way around. Oh, it's wrong. So, That's correct. It goes. No. Perfect. I can't get close enough to this picture. But yeah, these are these are desktops I grabbed like. There we go. That's better. Over, almost a decade ago. Nah. Piece over. Um. Right that. Uh. 
Don't go in there. Which building is this? That's a Screw good question. It. The future. Future. Shut up, Squidward. Future. I know about you, but I like I liked old SpongeBob. Yep. Old SpongeBob was best SpongeBob. Indeed. Love. One of my favorite episodes is the opening episode with the the freaking anchovies. Oh yeah, yeah, that one was good. I thought you meant like with the leaf blower or whatever. Oh jeez. No, no, like that, the very that was opening episode. Right? But no, my, my my favorite had to have been the uh, the, the anchovies. anchovies. Those are fun. I like the addition of the fact that these fish are just really, really weird. <laughs> so what about now? What's, what, is, what sort of shows are you into? Um, I don't watch much television at all. No? No. I mean, there's shows on the internet. Still don't watch a lot of shows at all, actually. Huh. I tend to be doing a lot of gaming. That makes sense. I see you playing, like, a lot of games. Yep. Meep. This, this doesn't even go there. <laughs> where, where does this go? It goes... place. Let's see. It goes there, yes. Um, if you do well, want... One of my other favorite mm -hmm. episodes... Which apparently is the highest ranked SpongeBob episode ever. Okay. Is Band Geeks. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I, I like that one a lot. So funny. It's mostly because I like music, but that one was just a good episode. Yep. And it's sweet, sweet, sweet victory. Yeah. I, I love how they managed to pull that together in one evening. <laughs> Don't worry um, about it. Maybe if we play really loud, people will think we're good to actually being good in one night. <laughs> it's it's a good commentary on musicians. The SpongeBob when used they to finally decide to get their shit together, they're good? Yeah. <laughs> right. SpongeBob used to have a lot of good like uh I don't want to say adult humor because I mean it did, but that's not what we're referring to. Um, but okay, let's face it. The adult humor buried in that was crude. It was hilariously crude. It was still good, though. I love it when... What's that's wrong? I love it when shows like like old cartoons had adult humor in them. Yep. Like, they weren't just dumbed down because, oh, it's a kid show. Eh. Like, they had legitimately intelligent things. That's why I love Gravity Falls so much. You should definitely higher watch... brow of entertainment, Yes. Yes. You should definitely watch Gravity Falls if you haven't already. I watched some of it. I'm just, you know, I haven't been watching a lot of television, so it kind of fell off my radar, you know what I mean? Well, I didn't have, I never watched a single thing on the TV. <sighs> yes, I know, but I also don't have Netflix or anything like that. It's so. friggin' on Kiss Cartoon. Shut up. <laughs> it is. Go I'll watch give it. you my reasons for not watching it, and you can just shut up about why you have. Okay? Okay. There we go. I'm done here. Wow, that was... That Invigorating was conversation. That was good. Totally. Where the hell does this piece go? <laughs> People are going to get sick of hearing that. Well, it's true. This statement of a question is the truth. Statement of the question is true. Okay. Don't quote me, okay? I say things. I will quote you all I want because you are entertaining to quote. Let us put it that way. Ah, uh, if only people quoted me more. <laughs> I'm not sure the world could handle that. I'm sure it could. Well, I don't know. They just meet. I think they... there's a certain something about you that just can't. You just can't take too much of it any one given time. No, don't don't say that. No, no, don't make it true. No. <laughs> uh, Perfect. What am I looking at here?
here. I kind of want... Honestly, I think my main goal is to just get more people to like me. I think, yep. that's, I think that's why I'm in the YouTube game. Because if I were just playing games to have fun, I wouldn't record it. And if I wanted to just record it to show my friends, I wouldn't put it up on YouTube. So, like, yeah. I'm, I'm clearly in the YouTube game for a reason. I understand that. Like, uh, a lot of YouTubers say, oh, I don't really care about the popularity. But clearly, there's a reason they're posting their videos. Mm -hmm. Popularity, like, it's it's kind of demonized a little bit. You shouldn't care about it as your main thing. But you still care about it at all, even a tiny amount. Don't lie to yourself. Exactly. Uh, ha. Man, the city of the future is a really complicated puzzle. Yeah, it kind of is. I'd call it a maze, but it ain't too mazy. Where the hell does this piece go? There is a reason why they call it the urban jungle. Jungles aren't much of a puzzle, though. Well, getting through one is. Well, yeah, but it's more of a maze. It's amazing! Oh god, that pun is so horribly overused. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I use it sometimes just as like a type of humor. I'm aware yeah. of how terrible it is. I just say it anyway, it's funny. Now, I'll admit, there are cliches that are cliches for good reason. But then there's ones that it's like, oh my god, that is so overused. Think of a different damn trope already! <laughs> well, like uh, the, the tropes versus women thing? Oh, God, that's just stupid. Well, elaborate, because you might offend people. Oh, oh, no, no, I, I'm going to attempt to offend as many people as I want right God now. Damn it, this is my channel. <laughs> I know. They can just not watch this episode. Well, they probably didn't, realistically yeah, speaking. All right, tell me uh, your hatred towards tropes versus women or whatever. Well... Uh, where was it? I haven't actually watched any of it. Neither have I. But, you know, secondhand source sort of thing. The whole thing is, I think, it's like, she got, like, half a million dollars and did six episodes. Yeah. I'm like, that is a ridiculous waste of money. And she didn't even, like, prove anything, you know, concrete. Well, technically was... she could have. You admitted you didn't watch it. Eh. <sighs> Anyway. Anyway. I watch, you know, I watch Teal Deer. Teal Deer? Just, yes. It, that? it, that's actually quite hilarious. TLDR, you know, the... Oh, you know, right. Too long, long didn't read. thing. Except he's, you know, his persona is a Teal Deer. <laughs> that's funny. So, yeah, I, I, I get his information through him. And, you know, I tend to try and take things with a grain of salt. But there's of only so much feminism stupidity that I can take. Now, I'm not against feminism itself. It's just how some people go about it drives me up the wall. Well, technically, the the way people go about it, a lot of people aren't even actually feminists. They claim they are, but they aren't. The way they go about it is literally against feminism. Yep. Like, I, I like to claim that I am a feminist, and my feminist friends, who are female, so I have an excuse, uh, yeah. say that, uh, yeah, I have some good ideas. I, I got a good noggin on me. I know what I'm talking about when I say, hey, we should have equality. Yep, I'm all for equality. It's just not at the expense of men. Because that seems to be what a lot of feminists are aiming for these days. Careful now, the word men might trigger some people. Oh, God, and that's even worse. It's just the whole fact that it's like you're triggering people. It's like, okay... Get out of your frickin' soft room, ya people. The real wor world is a jackass place. If you can't survive in it, God, Damn it. just go stop crawl right under a rock and stop trying to live in this world. Well, there are, I've heard legitimate like stories of stuff going wrong or whatever. But just the way people misuse things just really bugs me. For me, it's the whole every college needs its safe space sort of stupidity thing. So, I don't consider that stupid. I mean, I get that there are people that, you know, might need some help dealing with, you know, that sort of thing. But 
if you're trying to make sure that no one is offended ever, you're you're just you're doing something stupid there. And in the yeah, a little bit. Look, and in the process, people get offended what by you it. Say or who you say it to, someone is gonna get offended. Well, that's a problem. They're they're the ones at fault because clearly they're abusing the exactly. system. But that's just it. It's like the fault lies entirely on the person who is offended. Because Dude, I was I was saying that as a, I was saying that as a joke. <laughs> that's just it. though I'm I'm in the firm belief that whoever is being offended, whoever is offended, it's more their fault than anyone else's because a lot of the times it tends to be an innocuous thing or a Oh, I didn't realize that was, you know, such and such. But no, they they take it too far to the other extreme and make it the entire problem of the person who said the thing. Mm -hmm. No, I completely understand that. Yeah. I try, I try my best not to offend as many people as possible, though. Like, I, I, I want to be clean cut. I want people to like me, you know? Exactly. And I, I, don't, I don't really want to be offensive. It's just, you know... There are certain people that it's like, if you start, you know, pulling that way with the whole everything's offensive sort of thing, I am going to do my damnedest to offend you. <laughs> and uh, some of my best friends can attest, maybe Connor can, maybe he can't, that when I try, I can be one of the most offensive people they've ever oh, known. Oh, God, yes. You can be so damn offensive. I, I, I love that. <laughs> It's, I use it specifically for humor. I don't like that part of myself, but I embrace it, you know? It's just like, well... I, there's qualities. They are what makes you human. I know this joke about this thing, and dot, dot, dot. Oh my god, how could you say that? <laughs> sort of thing. I, I do that quite infrequently, in fact. Not frequently. No, that's, that's a lie. I do that enough that people don't expect it. Where the hell does this go? Spot completely. Fucking uh, thing. Where the hell does this piece go? <laughs> That's a nice little segue. Let's start using that whenever we, you know. It was the going in the exact same place, Connor. You just had it upside down. Yeah. I wasn't entirely sure about that. I was. As soon as I looked at it, I'm like, I can't go anywhere else at all. Alright. You say in the nerdiest way just, possible. I'd put that in in that one direction. I'm like, I just, I don't know. I thought I turned that, you know, half well, the way. Well, this place. piece goes here. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not going to specifically sabotage it. I'm not that guy. Uh, here we are. That, no, that is not there. How long have we been going for, you think? I don't know. I'm glad you're paying attention. Jeez. I think we've run past our time. Pay more attention. Uh, I don't know. Well, whatever. What, what time do you think we've gone for? Uh, we've gone for... now. Yes. I concur two -parter? with myself. Uh, yeah, we're doing... We're absolutely... This cannot be done this video. This is impossible. This is definitely going to take another video, and if we're not done in 20 minutes after that, then we screwed up. And we just throw pieces at it, and if they don't fit, then too bad, we're sticking them in. Alright. Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I've been Kiwi, he's been Connor, and that piece doesn't go there. And you've been great too. Uh, why don't you have yourself a good day? You've truly earned it. You know, you you put in the work. You, you work you work a rough job, and your boss sucks, and your coworkers don't appreciate you enough. You know what? Take a you day. Take tomorrow. You don't know, take tomorrow off of work, but you know, take tomorrow and appreciate yourself. Look in the mirror and be like, you did it. You succeeded. And just have a good day. You know. All right. Goodbye. See ya.